welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem seven point eight eight. So in previous problem seven eight point eight seven, the data is same. So we will now uh, find the star for yielding by using the maximum distortion energy criteria criteria or one minus criteria. So again, given data is that diameter is equal to one point five inch. Clear uh, sigma yield. That is given as forty-two ksi clear, and P is given as minus sixty kips because it is compressive clear, and we have to find this torque T for yielding to be occur for yielding at this torque yielding must occur clear. By using maximum uh, distortion energy criteria, it is also known as one minus criteria. One minus criteria. Again, we know that one minus criteria is that sigma a square plus sigma b square minus sigma a into sigma b. Should be less than sigma yield square, but this criteria is for uh, for uh, object that will not give you yielding. So for yielding, we will equate this left side with equal to the right side. So for yielding, I will write for yielding sigma a square plus sigma b square. Minus sigma a into sigma b is equal to sigma yield square. Now sigma a and sigma b are principal stresses, and we can say that sigma a and sigma b is equal to sigma a is equal to sigma average plus r. Similarly, sigma b is equal to sigma average minus r. Clear? Now you can see from this state of stress, there is no. Stress in x direction, so sigma x is equal to zero and sigma y is equal to minus p divided by a, and that is equal to uh, p is minus sixty kips, so minus sixty into ten to the power three divided by area is pi by four, d is one point five square. So when you calculate it, sigma y will be minus thirty three point nine. KSI, clear. Okay, and tau of x y is again that is not known, and we will also find it, clear. Now you can know that sigma average plus r, so we will find sigma average. So sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by two. Sigma x is equal to zero, so sigma average will be equal to minus. So value of sigma y is minus, so it will be minus sigma y divided by Clear, and the same thing is that uh, if you do not, uh, sorry, that will be equal to sigma uh, sigma y divided by two. But when you will put the value of sigma y, it will be minus sign. Clear? Okay. Now r is equal to we know that r is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by two whole square. Plus tau of x y whole square sigma x is equal to zero, so r will be equal to sigma y divided by sigma y square divided by two, uh, sorry four, plus tau of x y square that is equal to r. Clear? Now you have this value. You can put it. I will write it. That is equal to sigma y divided by two. Plus the value of this r instead of this I will write r and that is equal to sigma b is equal to sigma y divided by two minus r. So again, uh, this is the same thing. You have to put the value of sigma a and you have to take the square. Similarly, sigma b 
is this and you will put the square here and when you solve it I have done it in the pro in earlier problem 7.86 so if you are if you have any difficulty you can go and watch problem 7.84 for your clarification so when you put the value of sigma a and sigma b and you will solve it so you will get sigma x uh, sorry sigma y square plus uh, 3 tau of x y square is equal to sigma yield square sigma yield square again we are interested in finding tau of x y square here that is equal to sigma yield square minus sigma y square and that will be tau of x y will be equal to 1 over under root 3 clear and that will be under root sigma yield square minus sigma y square now you have both the value you can put it 1 over under root 3 into under root sigma yield is 45 sorry 42 and sigma y which we have calculated above is minus 33.9 so minus 3 square minus 33.9 square so when you solve it so you will get the shear stress that is equal to 14.273 KSI now remember from from torsion from torsion from torsion from chapter number 3 that is torsion or twisting effect so we know that this torque so shear stress is equal to T into C divided by J where T is torque C is the radius and J is the polar moment of inertia so you can find this torque so this torque will be equal to shear stress into J divided by C now shear stress is 14.2 Two seven into ten to power three, j is pi by two c four c is, uh, diameter is given, which is one point five. So c will be zero point seven five. So zero point seven five whole four divide by divide by this c, which is zero point seven five. So when you calculate it, this star comes out to be nine point. 46 kips into inch yeah, so torque is equal to 9.46 kips into inch now the conclusion is that if you are using the von Mises criteria or maximum distortion energy criteria so when you applied a torque of 9.46 kips into inch this torque is applied on this shaft so it will yield clear i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching it